I've been waiting months to bid that old cherry tree farewell. Oh, I love that cherry tree. Hey, remember when you built me that club house? Sure. And you fell out and your mother and dad nearly disowned me? I did not fall, I jumped. I'll have you know that that was a very important day in my youthful development. <laughs> ah, this I gotta hear. Well, I learned the difference between imagination and reality. Huh? The difference between a fantastic, vibrant, wildly creative, make-believe adventure and actually diving headfirst off a cherry tree into a little pile of leaves. And that lesson cost you 14 stitches and a broken arm. And I'll never forget carrying you back to that car in my arms and laying you in the back seat. Yeah, that was great, wasn't it? That was scary. Remember you called your boss at the railroad and you told him you couldn't leave me? They had to hold an entire train until my arm was in a cast. I felt so important, so loved. That is a love not with words or tongue, but with actions and in truth. What'd you say, Grandpa? I love you, Drea. I love you too, Grandpa. Diary. Well, E.D., Christmas has always been my favorite time of year. I love the decorations, the songs, the manger scene. I mean, let's face it, Christmas is just an incredibly cool thing. Even if it is nearly 60 degrees. Come on, guys, we haven't finished decorating yet. We're busy! To your left. No, maybe to the right. A little more. Keep going. Perfect. You know, I think deck in the halls is one of the most fun things about Christmas. Not! What are you guys doing over here anyway? Just some last minute gift ideas. Oh, for who? For me. Oh, and Rebecca, too. Come on down, kids. It's time to go home. I think it's too late to order this stuff. It says they deliver by Christmas. Do we have a credit card? Oh, oh Mom! Oh, Mom, check it out. There's some really cool stuff I want in here. Um, what's your credit card number? We highlighted the order numbers. Mm -hmm. in here. Yeah. Okay, okay. We'll talk about it in the car. Yeah, okay. My kids are turning into turbocharged shopping machines. <laughs> They're in high gear for gift getting, that's for sure. Well, the car was just in the shop, and yesterday the hot water heater went on the fritz. There's no way I can afford half of what they're asking for. I'm sorry. Oh. Bye, Drea. Bye, Mrs. Sloan. Good luck! Thanks. She's right, you know. It seems like ever since the store started advertising Christmas gifts right after Labor Day, everybody focuses on quantity, not quality. Most people don't even know what Christmas is all about. I can't even get the quality part down. I feel like a total shopping disaster this year. Me too. Me three. I've been so busy with the holiday campaigns for the store, I haven't had a chance to do anything for you guys. Maybe we should do something different this year. Hmm. Like what? Hey, I've got an idea. 
What if we all just had to buy one gift? We'll put all our names in a hat and we'll each pick one. Well, that certainly would simplify things. Hold on, honey. Here's some paper. Okay, let's let's give it a shot. And we can't tell each other whose names we've drawn. That'll be our Christmas morning surprise. And if you pick your own name, you have to put it back. Okay, now should we set a price limit? No, it just just has to be from the heart. A very special gift. All right. Let's pick. <laughs> no peeking. Fine. <clears throat> Two can play that game. I'm going shopping. Me too. <laughs> Stores are open till midnight. <laughs> I gotta get going. This is gonna be fun. <laughs> This is going to be great. So uh, tell me, tell me, who'd you get? Come on! I can't tell you that. Ah, oh, come on! I won't tell a soul. You know, small appliances are very trustworthy. We even come with lifetime guarantees. Ta-da! Sorry, too much fine print. Huh. Deary D, if I hear one more phony ho ho ho, I'm gonna scream. I'm still giftless, so I've called in professional help. Kimberly's gonna take me to her favorite stores. I just don't know if my family's ready for gifts from shops named Bell Bottom Dreams or a catastrophe. Come on, Drea. This is the third store we've been in. You haven't bought a single gift. Yeah, well, nothing special. Everything's so ordinary. Interesting, I wouldn't know who to give it to. Sorry, fella. That's okay. You should have returned my call, but I'll forgive you. George, I'm sorry I didn't call you back, but I've been mondo busy since school let out. So when are you going to Florida? Oh, this afternoon. It's off to grandmother's house I go. <laughs> well, Merry Christmas. You too. Uh, I'm gonna go to the antique store. Do you guys wanna come? Been there and done that. Okay, I got a cruise. I'll see you next year. Bye. Another man racing away from you as fast as he can. But you must be used to that by now. Merry Christmas, Arlene. You know, Arlene, I hate to say this, but in case you haven't noticed, there's no snow. Very amusing, Andow. This is my new ski package for my vacation. Aspen. That's in Colorado. I hope you have a nice time babysitting those bratty little lawn kids while I'm mingling with the celebrities on the slopes. Well, don't you think you'd have a better time with two skis? Where's my other ski? I don't know. We must have left it at the dry cleaners. We? Go get it! What are you staring at? So immature. Watch out for the puddle. You know, Drea, she hates you. I know, but what did I ever do to her? <laughs> I mean, besides stealing the town's best babysitting gig, humiliating her in the school elections, and convincing her rich grandfather to save the school's extracurricular activities? Okay, okay, okay. So a few tiny little potentially embarrassing things, but... Watch out! you off or something? No, thank you. Excuse me. <laughs> this is all your fault, Drea Thomas. Me? What did I do? Nothing. She just got her ego covered with mud and she needs to blame somebody. I know this stuff, believe me. I watch Oprah. <laughs> what happened? Don't even ask. 
least these are waterproof. Ow! Ow! <laughs> If we hadn't talked to that idiotic girl, none of this ever would have happened. Drea Thomas, I'm gonna make this your most miserable Christmas ever. But Mom, I just wanna show you what it looks like. Matt, there's no way we're buying Grandma fluorescent slime for Christmas. Please, Mom, let's just go in and see what new things they have. Okay, okay, I think it's time for a little reality check here. Just sit down. Now, we're supposed to be shopping for other people, remember? But I keep seeing things that I want. Well, now that's another thing. I know we've always made a big deal about a lot of presents, but money's tight this year. So what are you saying exactly? Well, we're going to have to cut back a little bit. We just can't afford to buy as many presents. Oh, this stinks. Oh, come on now. At least the car works. And we've got hot water again. Oh, great. First you ruin Christmas, and then you make me take a bath. Happy holidays. Dairy D, I've been shopping for days without any luck. And guess what else? Kimberly heard from Kristen, who talked to Lauren, who knows Marcy, that rumor has it Arlene is vowing revenge by Christmas Day. I'm still dreaming of a right Christmas, but that's all it is, a dream. Hey, Ben, want to shoot a little one-on-one? Sorry, Dad, but I'm beat. I like that uh, one gift idea of yours. Hey, that's really great. Yeah, if you can find just one gift that shows everything you feel about one of the most important people in your life. Oh, well, when you put it like that, it kind of puts a lot of pressure on, doesn't it? Oh. Come on, take your mind off your troubles. Take a shot. You trying to make your old man look bad? Pretty good shooting, kid. <laughs> what is all this? <laughs> it came for Dre this afternoon. That's something of a fundraiser you're having, huh? Thank you for your order. Packing slip 15 of 30. C-O-D. I paid for them. Here's your receipt. A hundred and ninety-two dollars? And thirty-six cents. And thirty-six cents. Surfing Santas? Surfing Santas? Boy, I hope you got a discount for ordering so many. But I didn't order any of these stupid things. a refund check and they'll pick up the Santas after Christmas. Great. Do they have any suggestions about what we're supposed to do with them until then? I'm sorry, Mom. I'll put them in the garage. Your poor grandpa, he feels terrible about signing for all this stuff. Do you have any idea who's behind it? Maybe, but I have no real proof. And what am I supposed to say to someone who's committed to ruining my Christmas? How about knock it off or I'm going to sick my mom on you? I'll try and figure out something. Sorry, Drea. It's just us. Whoa, with all the confusion going on downstairs, I almost forgot you guys came up here. What were you guys doing in the dark? We wanted to make a wish on a Christmas star. But we couldn't find it. Well, maybe you'll see it on Christmas Eve. That'll be too late. 
You gotta see before that for your Christmas wish to come true. Doesn't matter. Our Christmas is already ruined. Huh? Mom told us that we didn't have enough money for a lot of presents this year. And what good is Christmas without a lot of presents? Yeah, it's not fair. I've been good all year for nothing. Ah! A mouse! <laughs> don't worry, don't worry. That's just Morton. I wonder what he's got planned for Christmas. Mouses don't have Christmases. Sure they do. Drea, come on. I'll just have to show you then. I hope I can muster up enough imagination for a secret adventure. <laughs> I hate mice. So what happens now? We've got to find his mouse hole. What's the matter, Stanley? Don't you recognize me? Guess not. Let's get out of here. Morton. Oh, it was my pleasure, miss. Matt, Rebecca, I'd like you to meet a friend of mine, Mr. Morton Mouse, Esquire. Glad to make your acquaintance. You know, me and the family was just sitting down for a wee bit of Christmas supper. Won't you join us? All right, everybody, make room for me new chums. This here is Drea, Rebecca, and little Matt. Little? Oh, we couldn't impose. There's barely enough as it is. Don't you be silly. There's always enough to share with friends. Now, let's have a prayer, if you please. Dear Lord, I ain't a rich mouse, or a particularly smart mouse. But I thanks you for giving me a great family and these new friends to share in our Christmas feast. Amen. Let's eat! I can't believe they're so happy. They hardly have enough to eat. Yeah, and they don't even have any presents. You're right. What good is Christmas without a lot of presents? Rebecca, Matt, it's time to go home. Sorry, Morton, we gotta go. Thanks for everything. Anytime, kids! <laughs> oh, look at that mess. Do you feel bad for asking for so much stuff? Yeah, those mice were having a great time. They didn't have anything. Except each other. Rebecca, you really blew it. Well, you know, you still have time to fix it. It's not Christmas yet. Rebecca, Matt, let's go! Hi, kids. Hi, Mom. Hi, Mom. Ooh, is that for making it to the top of those steep stairs? Drea, you need mountain climbing gear to get up here to the attic. We're sorry for asking for so much, Mom. Yeah, we don't need all that stuff for Christmas. I must be hallucinating. Are these my children? We just want to be together. That's all we need. Well, you're so right. That's all we need. Of course, it'll be okay to have a few presents, won't it? Yeah, but not too many. <laughs> Merry Christmas, Drea. Thanks, Drew. Thank Morton for me, too. Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! How did you do that? Oh, I had a little help from some friends. Well, everyone should have friends like that. Merry Christmas, Drew. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Merry 
Dear E.D., you know, suddenly everything is making sense to me. You can't just talk about loving someone. You have to live it out. Wow. This might be a great Christmas after all. <sighs> Shopping malls and deck the halls. It's a frantic holiday pace. Mistletoe, Santa's that glow. Keep that smile upon your face. Elves and tights and broken lights. It's an endless gift parade. Clips that scream, Santa's to leave. How'd I get in this charade? Please someone tell me what is Christmas? Is it candy canes and bows? Please tell me what is Christmas? Is it Christmas without snow? Some say it's a feeling that fades with the morning light. But a voice softly whispers to me, it was a baby born one night. Christmas wrap, tempers that snap, gotta keep that holiday cheer. Kids that sneeze, no batteries. Thank goodness it's only once a year. Cranberry stains, long shopping lanes, take a number, wait for Santa's laugh. Frozen cheeks, kids sneaking peeks. When it's all over, can I take a nap? Please someone tell me what is Christmas? Is it candy canes and bows? Please tell me what is Christmas? Is it Christmas without snow? Some say it's a feeling that fades with the morning light. But a voice softly whispers to me, it was a baby born one night. Merry Christmas, honey. Oh, Merry, Merry Christmas, Mom. Oh. Can we open presents yet? Sounds like a good idea. Who goes first? Well, now, ask and you shall receive. Uh, here's one, and it has your name on it. Oh, goody. <laughs> Jewelry box. Oh, it's beautiful. It even has a place for my earrings. Oh, Ben, you must have spent a lot of time making this. Well, now you know why I couldn't make all those dinner invitations. <laughs> well, I love it. Thank you. Yeah, Grandpa, I love it too. Now I can always find her earrings when I want to borrow them. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Maybe you could put a little lock on this for me, huh? Oh, uh, who's next? How about... Oh, thank you. It's from Mom. Oh, Mom, it's your first watch. Well, it needed a cleaning and a new band, but it still keeps pretty good time, honey. Are you sure you want to give it to me? Well, my mother gave it to me when I was your age. Now I want you to have it. Mom, I love it. Oh, <laughs> thank you. There's something else in there. Let our hours be ours. This coupon entitles the bearer, Drea Thomas, to 13 uninterrupted mom-daughter hours. One hour for each Christmas we've spent together. Oh, Mom, I love you. <laughs> this is so much fun. I'll be right back. Must be something big. Oh, this one's for me. <laughs> Dad, Merry Christmas. Oh. oh, this is great. I don't know what's inside, but I love the outside. Drawer. Dad. Well, I don't know what to say. Say thank you, honey. 
This is the most special gift that I have ever received. Well, I don't know how to follow that. <laughs> Merry Christmas, Dad. It's heavy. Can't be golf ball. Huh? <laughs> you will never guess. <laughs> I just wish I could have done this while Mom was still alive. But... The Benjamin Thomas Sweet. Ode to a railroad man. Oh, Jim. You wrote me a symphony. <laughs> that's, that's not all. I even got my students to record it for their final exam. about the rest of you. But this is the best Christmas I can ever remember. <laughs> Dear E.D., no snow yet, but finally the weather decided to act like December 25th. So I headed out into the almost cold with one last Christmas thing to do. Hi. What do you want? I don't want a gift from you. Arlene, did one of your friends bring you a gift? She's not my friend. You would never know she was at the top of her charm school class, would you? Mother, please. Arlene, please be the daughter I raised you to be and graciously accept your friend's gift. Hampton Falls Jewelry? Ooh, a beautiful crystal A. What do you say, dear? Thank you. You're welcome. Merry Christmas. Wait a minute. This is a trick, isn't it? Well, I'm not going to fall for it. Are you okay, Arlene? I saw you fall. Are you okay? I'm Are fine. You... Are you hurt? I'm fine. Are you hurt? Are you sure you're okay? I'm... I'm fine. Wouldn't you know that Arlene would find the only patch of ice in Hampton Falls? Hmm. I wonder if that means that her vacation to Aspen just got later. Drea Thomas, I hate you! Are you sure we shouldn't return these guys? Like I said, with the money that the family's saving on gifts, we could afford to each chip in a few bucks and take Surf and St. Nick here to the children's hospital. I don't know. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What happened to love not with words but with actions? You're right. You don't forget a thing, do you? No. Cowabunga! If on this very special Christmas I could give one gift that is true It would be a baby born one Who has a love that's made Merry Christmas Oh, Merry Christmas Look! Merry Christmas oh. Merry Christmas
brothers that know. Stockings hung by only a thread. Bad fruit cake. And trees that are fake. Kids who just can't go to bed. Christmas cards. Busy boulevards. Guests who just won't disappear. Christmas fudge. Stomachs that punch. Will I make it to New Year's? Please someone tell me what is Christmas? Is it candy canes and bowls? Please tell me what is Christmas? Is it Christmas without snow? Some say it's a feeling that fades with the morning light. But a voice suddenly whispers to me, it was a baby. Hmm, ski boots. What's a toaster gonna do with ski boots? Oh, boy. Merry Christmas from the cast and crew of Secret Adventures. 